North Abaco Member of Parliament Kirk Cornish vindicated, acquitted on all counts against him in the Supreme Court. The eight women and one man on the jury panel took just an hour and a half to return their verdict. However, they were not unanimous on all counts. Here's Felicity Darville with the details. This case boiled down to he say, she say. Very little evidence was presented in court. There was no scientific evidence, no corroborating evidence, and no third party witnesses. The jury literally had to decide between the word of the complainant and that of Mr. Cornish. Now Cornish exercised his right not to speak during the trial, but the report he gave to police was read into the court record. Justice Renee McKay instructed the jury that they must decide on whose account they believe, Kirk Cornish or that of his former girlfriend. The only tool they must bring, she said, is their common sense, and they should make their decision based solely on the evidence before them. On both counts of rape, Cornish was found not guilty by a unanimous vote. On the first count of assault, the jury voted by a 6-3 majority that he was not guilty. In the second count of assault, he was unanimously found not guilty. And on the final count against him, threats of death, he was found not guilty by a 6-3 majority. He said nothing to the press as he left the court, but he released a press statement less than an hour later. He said that he is blessed to turn the page on what has been the most difficult chapters of his life. He owes his deepest thanks to Almighty God for his constant faithfulness and guidance. To the people of North Abaco, the Member of Parliament said that he deeply appreciates their support. Their faith in him, he said, even through these challenges, has been a profound sense of strength and he is truly humbled by the belief they have shown. He extended heartfelt thanks to his family, friends, colleagues, and his legal team. With this chapter now behind him, Cornish said he is ready to renew his commitment to the people of the Bahamas and particularly to the community of North Abaco. The complainant did not appear in court for the verdict, and Mr. Cornish did not speak to the press as he left the court today. However, the tears of his mother and the songs of praise his father sang after hearing the verdict are proof that at least for his size, there was a great sense of relief. I'm Felicity Davel for the Bahamas Tonight. Hi there, I'm Corval Piper. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zed and Ass.